Hello everyone. Let's talk about how to create and use variables in Python. A variable is a factor with changing values. For instance, the variable x could equal to 36, could equal to 1287, or other values. Creating a variable in Python is pretty simple. This slide shows you some examples of how to create the variables in Python. On the left, we have the variable name. It could be a letter or a word and so on. In the middle, we have a, a single equal sign. And then on the right, we have the value for this variable. Creating a variable is very straightforward in Python. But when we create a variable name, we must follow some rules. Let's take a look at those rules. First, a variable name can only contain letters, numbers, or underscores. We cannot have uh, any spaces or special symbols like a dollar sign or hashtag in a variable name. A variable name must start with a letter or an underscore, but uh, we cannot use a number at the beginning of a variable name. We cannot use some reserved common name such as print as a variable in Python. And also, variable names are case sensitive in Python. For instance, my variable and uh, my variable in this slide are considered two different variables because in the first variable, the V is in uppercase, but uh, in the second variable, V is in lowercase. Let's use the rules we just learned to evaluate which statement is valid in Python. Let me give uh, everyone about one minute to think about your answer and then we'll talk about uh, these statements one by one. Okay, let's talk about uh, this question. The correct answer to this question should be answer C because the variable name follows the rules we just talked about. What about uh, option A? Why we cannot choose A? Because A start with a number. This is against uh, the rules. In option B, we use the, a special symbol dollar sign. As the rules defined, we cannot use special symbol like a dollar sign or hashtag in a variable name. What about option D? There are too many spaces. We cannot use any space in a variable name in Python. That's why answer C should be the correct answer. As you have seen in the previous example, I give a numerical data as values to variables. When we use numerical data as variable values in Python, we only need to give the numbers directly to the variable name. We don't need to add a dollar sign or a comma. Let's see an example. On this slide, I create a variable called sales underscore revenue. And also I want to give 30,300.16 as a value to this variable. Then we only need to create a statement as you can see in the upper section on this slide. This is a correct statement of creating a variable in Python. However, if some classmates want to add a, a comma to separate the, the number, or add a dollar sign to indicate that this is some value about money, these are considered as incorrect statements in Python. What about the textual data? What should we pay attention to? if we want to give a textual values to a variable. In Python, we call all text, such as letters, words, or a combination of words, strings. So in the future, if I mention string type of data, I actually refer to texts. When we give a string type of data to a variable, we must include the texts with two double quotes. For instance, in this slide, 
I created a variable called uh, my favorite quote, and then I give a string type of value, no pains, no gains to this variable. Notice that I include no pains, no gains by two double quotes. Then this statement is considered a correct statement in Python. But uh, the example below is incorrect because we don't have the two double quotes besides no pains, no gains. This is how you create uh, variables in Python.